Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 54 of Let's Play Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, now this challenge run was submitted by YouTube user James Wolfie Duffy. Not related to the uh, sports reporter on TSN, James Duffy. But in any case, this is called The Switch. Now you might not think this is a challenge run, but believe me, it is. Every time we see an item, whether it be like a trinket, space bar item, whether it be good or bad, I have to take it and replace the one that I already got. So how do I feel about this run? Well, it could be good depending on what item I find teleport is not exactly a good item by any stretch of the imagination. So hopefully I find a space bar item to replace it. Even if it's terrible. Oh, it takes me to the first boss already, it's famine. Okay, so I'll get a cube of meat, which I'm definitely going to take anyway, because it'll give me some defense. I figured why not just randomize which character I'm going to play as, because it'll just add a little bit of a challenge, depending on who it is. Kane, it won't be much of a challenge, but I do have to be at close range, and I have one less red heart than Isaac does. But we'll see how it works. At least I won't have to worry about any bad pills, which is great. I think I might want to get rid of these flies first. I deal the head. So, we'll see. Maybe if I, like, get a really good item, that spacebar item, like maybe the nail, book of revelations, etc, etc, then I might find myself avoiding item rooms on purpose. But it depends. Remember, this is an XL floor, so there's another item room I need to find. Might give me a chance to charge up teleport as well. Even though it's not a good item, I might as well just take advantage of it since I got it. And who knows, it did send me to the boss room rather early, so I know where to go. Uh, I might as well just use it now. No, oh, it takes me to the other item room. Shoop to whoop. Awesome, I'm firing my laser. So that was a very good haul. Remember, I can't pick up teleport anymore. It's called the switch, therefore I have to switch it with a space for item as soon as possible. And I actually like shoop to whoop. It's much better than teleport, like I said before. And I had to save on one key for items. Oh dear god, I think I was better off using the laser there. Oh, thank you, Troll Bomb. You saved my life! If only you exploded right next to the uh, Tinted Rock. Hey, can you, like, go over this way? Go over this way, yeah. No, 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 don't go over there. I need you to blow up this Tinted Rock for me. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Okay, well, we still got it, which is great. It gives me a free soul heart. It was a very risky strategy to try to manipulate that enemy to... Oh, damn it. To take out that uh, Tinted Rock for me, but I had no bombs. Oh, now I get bombs? Oh, I got no bombs, two bombs. Well, I got no keys. Where are the keys, man? Just give them to me right, right now. I'll take it straight. I don't mind. I think I'll save the uh, laser for the boss. It'd be a good idea. What is it, like every two or three rooms for I'm um, firing my laser? I might as well just use it. Oh, thanks a lot, dick face! As soon as I'm about to use a laser on you, you'll blow yourself up. What a way to be an ass. Okay, the stars, so I have to replace it. I'll carry it with me to the uh, next floor. That way I'll save on another key for the next item room. Hopefully I don't get another tarot card either in this room or in the uh, boss room. Because then I'll have to give up the stars suck. I don't want to do that. Come on. Thank you. Okay, in this tinted rock we're going to find uh, two soul hearts. I'm very good about that. I wouldn't mind finding the small rock though. And I don't have enough bombs to check for secret rooms. It's a very low amount. And I don't like that. Eh, we got dookie flies. I won't have my laser ready, but that's okay. It's only dookie F. He's rather easy. Come on, let's go to town. The only annoyance is the flies. Uh, this is just going to be annoying because I can't get so far. I don't have the laser ready to wipe out the flies. I could use a bomb, but remember, I only got one left. So I want to hold on to it as long as possible. i got to try my best to make sure I can keep this tarot card. I want to use it for the caves or catacombs, whatever we get. Uh, this is just going to take a while because I don't have much damage. Not as much as I would like. Like, I'm not shooting very fast. I don't have much power. 
I have very little means to do offense for now. Other than my own tears. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Take the words right out of my mouth. We get the pentagram. So that'll give me some extra damage. Alright, I'll use the stars card here. And we get a uh, little Chad. Not exactly a fan of little Chad in this situation. But I'd rather something that'll help me out in battle as opposed to just keeping me alive. I mean, keeping me alive is good, but if I already got like full red hearts, what's the point? Oh crap, I don't like this. Take him out! Thank you. That was a bit harrowing. Now what can I really use at this point? I could definitely use a map. I could definitely use a compass. The ability to fly would also be great. In the grand scheme of things. As far as the shop goes, whenever I see a pestle item, I mean I have to buy it if I got the money. That's gonna be pretty bad if it turns out to be notched axe or the shovel. Because I think the shovel shows up in shops. But I can definitely take the virus. I mean, I have no qualms about that. Ah, oh, that was a dumb hit on my part. I don't even know why I was thinking to go for those silkworms if there was another one there ready to charge at me. That was just me being an idiot. I was better off just using the, uh, charge over here. Come on now. Just, I haven't got all day. You know how much of a pain in the ass these videos are to render if they go over 30 minutes. I mean, I don't want what happened to me before I happen again. Like, I was rendering a video, and at 98%, it decided to overheat. Yeah, at 98% of all things. Meaning I had to do it all over again, which sucks. If I had more bombs, or the ability to fly, I definitely would go for that gold chest. Oh my god, the spiders, they are the absolute worst. I hate them. I suppose I can use a bomb over here to look for the secret room. Oh, found it. In the secret room we get, uh, just money. Well, it'll make the shop worthwhile. Which is good, depending on what's in there. Hopefully it's something great, like a book of revelations, a candle, the map, compass, 9 volt, battery. Many possibilities that I can use, like a candle! 7 cents! Definitely good with that. I'll also buy the key. I don't think I'm gonna buy the tarot card though. There's really no point. So why don't we go to the boss right now and it's the husk. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances now, now that I got the candle. Which should allow me to go through like ways of enemies. Just bounce off the rock. Whoa, that was close. Come on now. Oh my god, that was a bad shot. I mean, we've been over like 50 odd episodes here. I should know better than to aim the candle in a bad way. But it's not like I had the candle in every single video. So cut me some slack. He did say deals with the devil are optional, which I'm very happy about. Uh, the quarter or brimstone? I think I should just leave and then go on to the next floor. But there's really nothing for me here. I don't think I would definitely take Brimstone because I have the candle and I think that's good enough for me. I mean, Brimstone is good in its own right, but after a while it just loses its usefulness. So I'd rather stick with the candle because it pretty much does what Brimstone can do, just not as far. Oh well. Besides, I like the candle for its defensive properties. That's why it's one of my favorite spacebar items to use. Along with the Nail, Book of Revelations, and uh, what other spacebar items do I like? Oh, Book of Belial I like. There are some pretty good spacebar items out there that I probably haven't mentioned. Mm, Boom, perhaps? No, Mr. Boom, I mean. Boom is just the 10 extra bombs. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head is good. I like that. Not really a fan of the Bible, because once you get the Isaac and Blue Baby, it's useless. And against Satan, too. So I can't think of anything else that's really that useful compared to like the Candle, Nail, Book of Revelations, Book of Belial. Well, maybe Book of Sin has its moments of being awesome. Bloody Penny! He also said that I have to like uh, take whatever trinket pops up as well, be it good or bad. So I may not be able to get to the chest. Like if I find a trinket after I get the Polaroid, I have to take that trinket as well. And leave the Polaroid behind. Unless I manage to, like, get Mom's purse, then I can carry two trinkets. 
which would be ideal in that situation. But if I don't get the polar, don't get to keep the Polaroid, then well, it ends at the cathedral, and that's okay too. It doesn't really have to end at the chest. Oh, I get to trade away that trinket right away for a flat penny, which is much, much better. Watch now, I get the tick in the next room. That would suck. You know how I feel about the tick. Okay, should I go to the next item room? It's a risk, because what if I lose the candle for something worse, like the razor or lemon mishap, the poop? But it could also be a passive, which would be great. So there's a bit of risk involved here. You have to decide if the risk is worth it. To me, I think I should just pass on that for now. Until I get there, then I might end up changing my mind in a heartbeat. I'll play the blood bank a few times, because I could use the extra keys. And a little bit of extra money, too. But I don't want to play it too much, because I'd rather stay alive. Aw, that's so cute. Lola's asleep right on my leg there. I wish I could show you, but I don't really have my webcam active, and the laptop is facing away from Lola at this time, and facing me. Judgment could be very good. Alright, please not space bar and please not space bar. Oh! oh! You roll the dice and sometimes it doesn't pay off. Such is the case here with Kamikaze. There's hardly any practical uses for Kamikaze if you got very little red hearts. But maybe the judgment can bail me out. Of all the spacebar items, not even Lemon Mishap would be bad in compared to Kamikaze. At least I'll take an HP upgrade. I just gotta try my best not to find any situations where I would need to use Kamikaze. Because let's face it, it's garbage. The only time I would use it is if I need bombs and I have zero. But I have one. So we'll see. At least I'll get some of this health back slowly. And every bit of money I get also adds to more keys. More keys equals more shops, item rooms, and gold chests. Whoa, that, that was going a bit too close for comfort. As I think about it this way, I know it was a dumb move to go to the item room considering I had the candle. But what if there was book revelations? What if there was like, I don't know, what is really, really good? Like the halo, magic mushroom. Pretty much anything can help me out. That's why I just took a chance. And here we are, with Kamikaze. Pretty much my least favorite spacebar item. Even the poop is not so bad. Okay, we get into this. Uh, Notched Axe. Well, I don't like it, but it's better than Kamikaze, so I suppose I'll take it. It's Champion Gertie, the one that just uh, spawns enemies. There's a Tinted Rock over there, so I won't have to worry about like using a bomb to get to it. I can just use the Notched Axe. What? I did not even see a shot there! Gertie's body just blocked it! Wow. So this is just gonna take a while because of the nubs and because of the flies. Like, if there's just a ton of enemies, will Gertie still be able to spawn them? Well, yeah, she can, because she's just replacing the red nubs over and over again. Just repeatedly, until there's absolutely, like, sprite limitations. Because these flies are going to be annoying. Because you can just hear them all the time. I'm not really a fan of this at all. 15 minutes in, well, 14 plus minutes in. We're only a case part two. Okay, finally Gertie's dead. Try my best not to get hit again. Just whittle away at these flies. If only I had a range up, that'd be great. But alas, I don't have one yet. Okay, I've got to deal with the angel. But before we go in there, I should use the notched axe, get the free soul heart, and in here we're going to get Guardian Angel. Awesome. I feel good about that. So I guess it's down to the next floor we go. I still don't have enough bombs to be looking around for secret rooms. Hopefully a map will show up shortly, whether it be at the shop or at Judgment. 
I'd say I'm pretty close to a greed encounter, even though I don't have much money now. Let's see what we get here. Well, I'll get more money this way. I suppose. I don't really think Notch Axe can be used offensively. Even though you're holding a pickaxe, which can be very lethal in the wrong hands, or in the right hands, depending on your perspective, you, I don't know if it will even work against enemies in this game. I mean, it takes out rocks, which is awesome, and I doubt it can be used to look for secret rooms in the walls. Because that would just be a weird interaction with the environment. Just use a notched axe, hold it up, and then bam. What the? Oh, wait, this is only third. I was thinking, was there a fourth wave? No, it couldn't be. I was just at that fetus wave a bit longer. <laughs> fetus wave. Look at me now. I'm just making up weird stuff. Like, how can you actually say fetus wave with a straight face? Only when you're playing The Binding of Isaac can you pull that off. Because if you said fetus wave anywhere else, everyone would just be looking at you like you're a total weirdo. And again, I'm talking to my computer, pretending I'm interacting with you guys, so I'm already quite weird. Nah. Uh, let's see. I suppose it would not hurt to use Notched Axe to open up the environment. Granted, it's only one rock. That's one last rock I need to worry about. Besides, I really need to just use it up a little bit more. Maybe get used to notched axe on it's lagging. I think it's just Flash being weird, because I mean the music, it just runs good all the same. So let me take out these enemies first before I pause the recording and continue on where I left off. That is why I can't wait for rebirth, because at least we'll have to worry about this a little bit less. God, even without the lag, this battle can be slow. Okay, in this tarot card, we got the stars. Awesome. Okay, and here we got Odd Mushroom, which increases my fire rate. But it lowered my damage, unfortunately. Alright, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on, and hopefully this will not be an ongoing issue. Well, just getting, like, a tears up is not too bad, but my damage just got lowered, which sucks. What I mean by that all, oh, Matchstick, well, I could use the extra bombs. What I mean is the slowdown. I don't want this happening every few minutes, because that would just be downright terrible. I suppose I'll use a bomb here. don't think I'll be able to get to all this money anyway. So there's more of it in this chest, let alone run there. Okay, which way to the shop and to the boss? Okay, that's the way to the shop. It's going to take a little bit longer to take out the hearts, unfortunately. And I'm still not shooting very far. Whoa, that was close. Almost got smacked around by that mask. Okay, yeah, at least I'm shooting faster. I mean, that's one nice trade-off. But I still want to shoot with more power. Ah, oh, the compass! Awesome, I could really use that. Let me come back to when I get one more cent. So I definitely want that the compass. Uh, let's see. I suppose it would be a better idea to use Notched Axe. Well, there we go. I found a practical use for a spacebar item that I have little love for. <laughs> and still do to this very day. But at least I can take advantage of it for what it's worth. Okay, so there's a secret room and it has greed. Well, since I spent a buttload of money, I might as well fight greed. Oh, super greed. Never mind. Well, I was hoping it was greed. Oh, oh super greed. A little bit worse, but I can handle it all the same. Just don't want it to get too close to me, especially those greed heads. It'd be a problem if they keep appearing. Like so. I believe the most greed heads you can have in this battle is three. Like, I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be four, but that's not the case at all. Can you imagine, like, four greed heads and super greed shooting at you at once? Oh my god, that's two dumb hits there. This one battle. Just wish I had more bombs. Then I can consider using them in this fight. Okay, there we go. We made it through. Times like this, I wish I had Burt Penny instead of the matchstick. Okay, that'd be great. I guess I'm gonna get a nice bit of money for that. 
Well, speaking of money, I guess I can just use Notched Axe again to get that extra two cents. It's hard to believe that Notched Axe has actually been coming in the clutch. And that surprises me. That green nub did not help out. Now I gotta take care of it. There we go, and in here we go. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. It was well worth the risk. Alright. So I guess now I'll just go to the boss. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, just poop munchers. Well, I don't mind these guys. So far, so good. I mean, I'll, I had the candle, which would have set me over the top. Had to trade it for Kamikaze, which is garbage. Traded it for Notched Axe, which I was kind of disappointed in, but much better than, say, Kamikaze. But Notched Axe, I've been finding good uses for it. Believe you me, I did not expect that either. Oh dear god, don't blow up all this- Oh my god, that was perfectly placed. Like, that could not have found a better spot to hit me. Damn you, war. There's no tinted rocks in this area. So at least I'll get my second cube of meat, but I would have liked to find some soul hearts or a small rock. Oh my god, there's only one rock left! Uh, careful. There. I should be faster than war. Yep, I am. Good. Now he can't do much else to me. Except stalk me. Where's my biggest fan? Not. You know what, just for symmetry's sake, here. Ah, oh, curse of darkness. So that newly acquired compass already doesn't matter at this point. There we go, use the notch axe, get a free bomb. Much appreciated. Actually, I can just... might as well use a bomb here. Soul heart. Should I play with Demon Judgment? Wouldn't hurt. I get a little Chad to bail me out in case things get harrowing. The Bible! Well, to make the mom fight much easier. Not much else to be any good. I gotta try my best to survive with the Bible. But if there's another space bar item in the item room, well, I'll take advantage of that. I mean, I can still beat Mom without using the Bible for an instant win. But we'll see. What's this pill? Ah, speed up. Good. I feel good about that. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Our last item room. Is it going to be good to us, or it's going to be terrible? Only one way to find out. And that is to open the door and take a look for ourselves. And it's going to be... Yumheart! Well, if only I had the nun's habit, then Yumheart would be A-OK -okay with me. Right now, it just doesn't seem that great. Maybe I'll find an arcade somewhere, and then play the blood bank. Whoa! That was a dumb hit. I think the speed burned me right there. So I just skidded right by. Whoa! Take out the fistula nuggets first. That was close. Ah, uh, that bomb turret could've got him. Guess I'll have to do it myself then! Hard to find good out these days! Oh my god, that was close. Aw, I would have liked to get that. Oh well, maybe I'll find a ladder in the shop. Or transcendence in the uh, secret room. I guess it would be a good idea just to uh, abort going to the boss right now. And explore for a bit. Oh good, another pill. And that's health up! Wow, that was great by me. I'll just use the yum heart right now. Oh, could've just used it right there. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Well, it didn't really feel like a loss, at least I'm at full health. Just hope I keep finding that health up pill, that'll really save my life. If I find a full health pill, even better. I gotta try my best to hold on to it for Isaac and Blue Baby. Provided I get the Blue Baby at this point. Who knows, I might lose the Polaroid as soon as I can. Not that I'd want to. But it could happen. Once I get the tick, it doesn't even matter. So let's hope I don't get the tick. 
Because then I have to finish at the cathedral, otherwise... Okay, well, this on mushroom is starting to pay off, even though my damage has dropped. I'm still finishing off enemies at a really quick rate. I don't know how this is going to fare against Isaac and Blue Baby, because I'm going to be shooting at them faster. Therefore, they're going to be shooting at me much more often. But I guess time will tell if it's going to be worth it or not. Oh, I tried to get by. Whoa, I almost got hit twice. Let's take this one out as soon as possible. Let's just have Red Heart. I was hoping for something else. Maybe a tarot card or a pill. Oh, three bombs. That's pretty good. I suppose I'll use a key here. May not have been the best decision, but... Decision I already made! So I... D oh, what the hell was I thinking there? That was a... Terrible hit on my part. That troll bomb is not going to help me in the grand scheme of things. Little Chad has been really working well for me. Giving me lots of red hearts so I can keep exploring the blood bank more often. Which I'm very proud of, by the way. I'll play it till I get to two hearts. Oh, wait. Can I just use the yum heart once? So that's what I meant to do? I know that might fly in the face of the competition, but at least I'm keeping the IV bag from now on. Well, maybe if there's a boss trap room, I can use that. But it was a bit of a disappointment to get the IV bag. That's not going to be helpful at all. In fact, Kamikaze has more practical uses. So the only thing I can get about the IV bag is I take damage and I just get a bit of money. It's never going to give me a blood bag. Okay, Mom's Purse, definitely taking that. Definitely taking this pill. This ball's of steel, I'm good with that. I'll take Soul Heart, and I think it's on to the boss. Wait, maybe there could be a library around here. Wishful thinking, nope, it's Jersey Short Shop. So much for a library. Yes, eat it! go. I suppose I'll use the bombs to speed this fight up. This god only knows it could be a bit bit of a chore. Even though I don't think this chub has a lot of health compared to the other chubs. Okay, so I guess this is pretty much what I gotta live with. Maybe the secret room will be here by fluke. Of course not. Eh, wishful thinking, I suppose. No, wait, this is not the way. Is that the way to the boss? I think so, if I go left. And then work my way upward. Yeah, I believe this is the way to the boss. Alright. Maybe the secret room is here. No. Oh well. I guess we're fighting Mom. IV bag. One and only, am I right? I was better off with notched axe for crying out loud. Here, just clear out some of these rocks for me, Mom. Give me more room to move around. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better about moving around and taking care of mom. So let's do these. I'll probably never even need to use IV bag. Unless there's a very, very specific reason. Well, I wonder if I use IV bag in the womb or utero, will I take a full heart? Or will it just be half of one? I guess I'll have to find that out soon. So I'll probably just use it. Whoa! Thank you, Guardian Angel or Cuba Meat. Whichever took the bullet for me. The HP upgrade. We'll take the Polaroid. And it's down to the next floor. Oh, yeah, I still got the matchstick. I forgot I had Mom's purse. So I can take both. But, because of the rules of the competition, if I see a uh, trinket that pops up, I have to like go with that pairing as opposed to trying to mix and match. I guess that's the way it's going to be. Alright, let's see. Okay, it is a full heart. That sucks. Uh, secret room's going to have greed. Uh, let's see. I suppose we'll just go straight to the boss. 
There's not really a lot around here that I could really use in the mob trap room. Oh well. Let's see if we can actually beat Isaac with a run like this. It can happen, actually. Go make sure I have at least four keys. So I never know if I can actually get to the chest. Wait, I got an idea. Let me take care of the fetuses first before I deal with the doppelganger. Since it can't hurt me directly, let Guardian Angel Cuban Meat do the work. Thanks, little Chad, and here we got uh, Death. Alright, it's, it's Black Death. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. As long as I stay away from the side, that's good enough for me. Just just keep taking it on the chin. I don't even know if De ah, Death has a chin. It's frankly just as bony as the rest of his face. But it's still a chin! Maybe take it on the horse's chin? Doesn't really matter whose chin. As long as it's any kind of chin. Maybe an Asian chin, I don't care. An Asian guy named Chin. Take that, will ya? Okay, I don't really like those enemies because when you kill them, you leave on all these shots. Okay, so we get a third level cube of meat. That's actually very good. I like that. Aw, another curse of darkness. Really? You're gonna give me that again? Alright, meat boy, get in there. I don't know if I can trust you with the bombs, though. Because you've been letting me down quite a bit when it comes to bombs. But, we'll give it a shot, see if we can make it work. Oh, peep. That's gonna take a while, unfortunately. As long as the Meat Boy gets in there rather quickly. Just keep gnawing away! I wish I had the ability to fly, because it'll really make this fight a hell of a lot easier. Because then I won't have to worry about the urine creep. Oh! That was close. I had to navigate around the eyes, and I knew Pete was coming down rather quickly. Just don't give me another trinket, I had to give up the matchstick. Considering it was the matchstick I picked up before the Polaroid. Then after that, I have to give up the Polaroid. Just watch how I end up with Curse Skull Tick. That would be the worst. Oh my god. What? There's a good... That could be a good pill. Well, it can't be bad. Health up. Wow. So, without Kane, one of those would have been a health down. Seems though there was a second type of pill that was health up. Makes perfect sense to me. Ah, oh, meat boy, you can take care of this, will ya? Thanks. You're a doll, meat boy. The kind of doll that I want to cuddle up and probably have my face not off. Uh, okay, maybe never mind. Maybe that would not be a good way to say goodnight. Say goodnight, have fun with no eyes. Whoa, that was stupid. Oh. I'm sorry to myself for that. Just think, I only got like three soul hearts. That's a bit alarming. That means I won't be able to take much damage. Oh, this is a dead end. At least it's low key. Nothing too major. Just clearing out all these rocks would be good. One of them could be a tinted flesh rock, or not. Oh well. Guess I haven't gone this way yet. Wait, there's a boss trap room! Let's think about that in, in perspective. Maybe there is a good use for this uh, IV bag after all. If I keep spamming, I can use it like numerous times on one heart. Probably four times. Oh, it's starting to slow down, but that's because of all the money. That's pretty much the only reason. Wait a minute. Let me do this. Polaroid Invincibility! And we get Squeezy! Which the tears up and it gives me extra soul hearts. So this was a worthwhile investment. So not only do I have like Mario Lemieux numbers for my coins, I also have like a stat up. Along with some extra soul hearts to whoa. Bail me out once my red hearts go down. 
Maybe I should go on this for the rest of the way, because at least I'll have Polaroid. Ah, damn it. It's all Polaroid invincibility. It was not a really a smart move, just appear right there on the bottom. At least Monster 2 will go down rather quickly. Meat Boy, stay in there. Thank you. Okay, I still gotta find the boss, though. Ah! I hate when that happens. Like, the enemies just appear right there on top of ya. I think I should just keep as many red hearts as possible. I don't think it's a good idea to go on Polaroid Invincibility at this point, because I have very little soul hearts. If I had a lot more, then yes. Otherwise, no. See, I only got two left. Lenny could give me an HP upgrade. Or not. Just gives me lots of red hearts. That's good enough for me. I still don't know if this is the right way, though. It's a little up in the air at this point. But knowing me, I'll explore every single dead end, as I usually do. But if it results in more health, more pills, especially as Kane, all the better. Did I ever pick up a single range up? I don't know if I did. I still gotta get really close to the enemies, so I'm thinking no. Okay, there's the boss. I'm good with that. Uh, let's see. Get some health. That's gonna be great for us. It was worth using a bomb, and here we go! Now we're gonna take on Mom's heart. So, Meat Boy, you better get in there real fast. And don't you kick those bombs away from her to hit me. There we go. Again, times like this, I wish I still had the candle. So I'm not going to be doing that much damage that I would like. Meat Boy will help. Oh, nice to be a fourth level Meat Boy that does more damage. No, me boy! What did you do? That bomb was meant for mom's heart! Whoa! Oh, I got hit. I actually thought I got that leech. Good, kill the super knight with the bomb. So I said, just give me a key. That's it, me boy. Just push it in. That's that's smart. You should be doing that more often as opposed to pushing the bomb in me! Oh, you push it away, but at least the blast radius still got her. Yeah, I don't like having the dodge chub and the uh, bombs at the same time. So I'm gonna just try to focus directly on mom's heart at all times. That was a dumb hit. I had no way to dodge that effectively. There! Okay. Wait for the creep to dissipate, and it's on to the cathedral. At least I still kept the Polaroid, which is surprising by me. Am I going to hold on to it the whole time while I'm in the cathedral? I don't know. There's still a lot of questions left to be answered. And they won't be answered until we see them. So there, I'll just focus on this low-key since Meat Boy's already in there. Rather than just like share the workload, it's a good idea to focus on one at a time. So, oh, I was hoping to take out that rock. All right, okay, Loki's just away from the rock. I can handle that. Now I don't have to worry about those rocks over there. I'll just go straight for Loki. There we go, that's a good meat boy. Keep gnawing at those bomb flies. Okay, we got ourselves another bomb. I suppose I'm better off using a bomb than a key to get to that chest. Ah, oh, that's a troll bomb, but at least it gave me a soul heart. Which, surprisingly, is the only one I have left now! I got an idea. Let me just use a bomb here. Rather than just, like, deal with... Oh, it just dissipated, like, right to towards me. 
That is the worst. I'm taking some stupid damage. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna keep trying. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm not a quitter, okay? You can forget about that. Oh, that was pretty close. Meat Boy, get in there. Thank you. It's still not obvious where the secret room is, though. I'm just not finding any particular gaps that are suspicious to me. There may not even be one around this direction. And if I went the opposite direction of where I should go, I can find it, but I don't think I want to do that. Well, I won't be able to get Polaroid Invincibility, unfortunately. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to play the slot machine a few times. Ah, uh, maybe it will hurt! Okay. Got the soul heart. Get the bomb. Let's go. It's not giving me much hope, given that I have little range to work with. But at least I have, like, a Guardian Angel to bail me out if I'm lucky. 33% chance, though, unfortunately. At least I think it's 33. I'm not gonna crunch the numbers at this point. Just let Meat Boy do the work. I may not even need to shoot for a while. Here we go. Get some poison damage whenever I get hit. And drop a bomb his way, too. Uh, this is gonna be annoying rather quickly. I gotta remember to keep using bombs and the virus whenever I take damage. And I am gonna take damage in this fight. Mark, believe you me, I've already took two hits. We're not even at the third phase yet. I think Meat Boy's still in there. I don't even want to know where in Isaac that he is, but as long as he's doing something. Frustrating rather quickly. Oh, he made it to the third phase. I suppose it wouldn't hurt if Meat Boy went after the angel fetuses, too. Save me a little bit of grief doing that. Or maybe the angel fetuses will just come to Meat Boy. Remember, as those angel fetuses on the other side are coming towards me, they gotta pass through Meat Boy. Unless they get around him, and then I completely debuffs my strategy. Of just hoping for the best, which I don't think is much of a strategy at all. Okay. Meat Boy, get the finishing blow. Okay, I'll do it myself. So, let's see how this is gonna go. Ah, remote detonator. Good for five extra bombs. Gotta take that first. The hourglass. I'd rather remote detonator, actually. Spider Butt. Again, another spacebar item. And this is Lemon Mishap. So I kind of went in a reverse order that I would have liked. Took the best spacebar item I could use first, and then the worst one last. Okay, I don't think that's the way to Blue Baby. This is giving me some easy rooms that don't have any enemies. But I don't like that I gotta use Lemon Mishap. Unless I find another spacebar item before I can get to the final boss. Which would be a m much more ideal situation. Unlikely, but who knows, it could happen. At least Lemon Mishap requires two rooms to fully charge. I'm not even really gonna say anything about Lemon Mishap's praises yet. So I think if I use Lemon Mishap against Blue Baby, what I should do, wait till the third phase, then use Lemon Mishap. No way, it won't work on the angel fetuses, that's right, because they're flying. It'll be useless against them, as far as I know. But I mean, I'll, we'll test it out anyway, because it wouldn't hurt. Well, it hurt Blue Baby, of course. It might hurt me if I get too close. Mr. Mega, Mr. Mega, Mr. Mega, Mr. Mega, please, Mr. Mega. Okay, some extra bombs. It's good enough for me. But I don't know if I want to take that half a red heart, because I won't be able to get Polaroid invincibility. Let's see what we do against Carrion Queen first. If it's another half a red heart, then I'll go for it. If it's a full one, then I'm not gonna bother. If it's one and a half, even better. <laughs> so 
long as I still have half a red heart in my total life. That's the ideal situation here. I really should be using more of these bombs. Mr. I mean, Meat Boy can't even catch up to her. That's alarming. That means I pretty much gotta do all the work. And it's not shooting out any of those, like, small hearts. That could have been my way to do more damage. Practically gonna have to rely on bombs. That was close. Ow! Oh, I was doing so well, and I take a dumb hit as a result. Avoided one disaster, only to get in another. <laughs> There's pretty much only one spot I can look for for the secret room. Oh my god, this fight is taking four fucking ever. All these bombs, it's still not enough. Okay, there is a secret room. That's where I was thinking where it would be. Can they die, please? Why is this taking so long? I'm using bombs! This should be taking less time! Not four! I don't want to use Lemon Mishap here. Okay, that's one. Thank you! I was getting worried. Oh, now you shoot out the hearts when it's too late! Could have done it a little bit sooner. That would have expedited things rather quickly. Okay, there's two of them over there. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So let me check the secret room first. Ah, it's only three cents. I don't know. I don't like my chances. I might be able to wing it, though. Highly unlikely, especially at this point. So I might as well just go with the Lemon Mishap right away. I've taken very quick hits in succession. If I get to the second phase, I'll consider the battle a success as soon as I say I get hit! Ah, it was a good run. It didn't exactly work out in my favor at the very end. Maybe if I tried to ignore items on purpose, I would have fared much better, considering I had the candle at some point. But in any case, thanks James Wolfie Duffy for submitting that challenge run. It was pretty interesting. Keep submitting your challenge runs, and I'll do the ones that are satisfactory to me, so on the next part, I'll do another one. Goodbye, everybody.